Who is someone that is generally considered a great person, but actually, a monster? I don't know if she's considered a great person, but Coco Chanel is held up as a fashion icon, and she was a literal Nazi. After they took Paris, she stayed with Nazi commanders in the hotels they took over and built her empire, which still exists by stealing businesses from her Jewish bosses through the Nazi laws that took Jewish-owned businesses and distributed them through members of the party. The guy who invented Kwanzaa. The more you read, the worse it gets. John Harvey Kellogg, the serial guy, was a real piece of work. Barbara Walters, her interview with Coeri Feldman is disgusting. She knew what Corey was saying was true, and she kept questioning him on it. Read a book about Grover as a kid. He was a monster by the end of it. Every time you use the font Gil Sands, you're using a typeface designed by Eric Gill, who sexually abuses kids. Edit and his dog. I'm glad Dr. Phil is finally getting his comeuppance. He said and done terrible things to people who needed real help for the sake of viewership and acts like he cares so much. Well, it's obvious he doesn't. Fucking Oprah. My wife's rapist. He went to his grave with everyone thinking he was an amazing person that was taken too soon. Good riddance, I say. Annie Sullivan, a.k.a. Teacher. Despite helping Helen Keller rise above her disabilities, it's well documented that she often beat Helen as a means of disciplining her when she was still a wild, feral child, and colluded with the Kellers in preventing Helen from marrying the man she loved. Tom Cruise gives millions to an aggressive cult that destroys families. Steve Jobs was a deadbeat dad, a spoiled child masquerading as an adult a slave labor monster, and a borderline idiot. It's finally coming out, but Drake, Kenneth Copeland and Joel Steen, every mega church senior pastor, Mufagan, Gandhi, when Gandhi's wife was stricken with pneumonia, British doctors told her husband that a shot of penicillin would heal her nevertheless. Gandhi refused to have alien medicine injected into her body and she died. Soon after, Gandhi caught malaria, and relenting from the standard he applied to his wife, allowed doctors to save his life with quinine. He also allowed British doctors to perform an appendectomy on him, an alien operation if ever there was one. Also he served on the British side in South Africa, and earned a medal for valor. Oh y'all don't know him but my dad. Absolute scumbag. He's extremely well respected in his field, and all of his family adores him. I was a secret child he hid for years. When I was assaulted, he blamed me. He made his children lie to their own family about their secret sibling, and he literally sabotaged my career in my 20s. I only found success when I finally went no contact. Eta, y'all have me crying. This seems kind of weird as I still don't understand how anyone can defend them. Ugh. But, the Kardashians. Everyone thinks they're self-made and have done a lot of charity work. But in reality, they are professional scam artists and masters at tax evasion and fraud. There isn't a good one in the entire bunch. Dr. Zois cheated on his wife while she was sick, which led to her suicide then married his affair partner the very next year. James P. Sullivan Picasso. He was a bully and a misogynist of the worst kind. Gandhi was a severe anti-black racist and misogynist. Gwyneth Paltrow and fucking goop. Jared Leto. For someone who does a month-long spirit journey in the wilderness each year, he's a huge piece of shit. John Lennon sang about peace and love and then went home and beat his wife and kid. A lot of people are unaware that Thomas Edison was a terrible person. The more I learn about that Hitler guy, the more I don't care for him. Alexander Graham Bell Trial wanted to eradicate deaf people, 
tried to ban ASL. Also, he didn't invent the telephone. It was really an Italian guy. Uh, President Andrew Jackson Trail of Tears. Why is he on the $20 bill edit Holly Cow? Thanks for all of the upvotes. Based on Louis Theroux's documentary Jimmy Savile's Baby Shark and his whole family. They live in my head rent free. Elmo. Steve Jobs. His partner was on welfare and struggling to raise their son. Eventually, the state of California was like, why the fuck are we paying for your kid when you're a literal gazillionaire? Or something like that. Ellen. Charlie's grandpa. Kobe Bryant. Mother Teresa. Kobe Bryant. Weird all the top answers are one name people. Oprah, Ellen, Hitler. Drake, Gandhi, Mother Teresa, Dara. Caitlyn Jenner. During the time she was getting Person of the Year, she killed someone and was praised for it. Joseph Smith. My oldest brother is a convicted rapist that spent 20 years in prison. He is beloved by all, including my dad's side of the family. Church loves him, and he's an upstanding member of his community. I know he's a pass con man and is gaslighting them all. My abusive ex who raped multiple times throughout our relationship. He's well known in the industry he's in, and everyone thinks he's wonderful but just because someone's charismatic doesn't mean that they're a good person. Jackie Chan. He confesses a lot in his book without realizing how much of an asshole he is, I guess. Sleeping with prostitutes, abusing his toddler son etc etc and then on top of that he's a shill for the ccp say shit like chinese people don't deserve freedom he's from hong kong which is probably a double slap in the face even a lot of mainland chinese people know what the ccp is but they can't necessarily escape he's an international star and decides to say what he does <laughs>